All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Facebook ads dynamic creative. So I really like using dynamic creative when I'm using Facebook ads. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to use it specifically for image ads. So I'm gonna have a follow-up video for how to use it for your video advertisements on Facebook. But for right now, I just wanna go over the image ad version. Um, so a lot of people are running image ads. So it makes it a lot easier to kind of show this example. Um, so what we're going to do is start here in Ads Manager. You're going to see our campaigns listed here. Um, what we can do is click on Create. Now you might see a screen that looks like this. So this is Quick Creation. They might show you a prompt of whether or not you want to use Guided Creation or Quick Creation. So what I recommend doing is using Guided Creation. So now you're going to see a screen that looks like this. So it's going to say Create a New Campaign and Choose Your Objective. So you can use Dynamic Creative for a lot of different marketing objectives. If you follow me long enough, you know the main objective I really use is conversions. Um, so if we click on conversions here, it's gonna say campaign name, create split test. I generally do campaign budget optimization here so that optimizes your budget across ad sets. Um, so I would click on this and then what you would do is set a campaign budget. So whether it's a daily budget or a lifetime budget, either or works and campaign bid strategy, I would use lowest cost. So let's just say, for example, for this campaign, I'm trying to sell a marketing course. Um, so this is for Surfside PPC. So let's just say I wanna reach people on Facebook and I wanna sell them my marketing course. So my campaign name would be conversions. We can click on continue here. Okay, so we would start by creating our first ad set. So I'm not gonna rename this ad set. I'm not really too focused on creating a campaign here. I just wanna go over dynamic creative. So what you can see here is provide individual assets like images and headlines and automatically generate optimized creative combinations for your audience. So if we click on learn more real quick, it'll show this over to the right hand side. So what you can see is dynamic creative doesn't work with dynamic language optimization or asset customization. Um, basically what it does is you upload a bunch of images, you create a bunch of headlines, you create a bunch of descriptions, and Facebook is automatically going to use those combinations to serve different advertisements to your customers. And then whichever advertisements work the best, they're going to continue to serve to your customers. So in the past, you used to have to create tons of different advertisements. So in one single ad set, you might have had 10 advertisements. With Dynamic Creative, you're able to create basically one advertisement and set up a bunch of different images, headlines, descriptions, and Facebook is gonna to continue to serve the best performing options. So it's very similar to responsive search ads if you're familiar with Google ads. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this for right now. And as you're setting up your campaign, if you come into the ad set, generally they'll show a conversion here or whatever the goal is that you're trying to accomplish for your campaign. Um, so obviously we selected a conversion as our objective. So it's showing conversion here. So you definitely wanna optimize for your conversion. Uh, we've had a bunch of videos where we've gone over how to set up your Facebook pixel and how to set up conversion tracking on Facebook ads. So the next thing you wanna do is under dynamic creative is you wanna select on. So now it's gonna say you can upload individual assets. It's gonna say the same exact thing pretty much down here. Um, says some settings like send a messenger are not available yet. So my assumption is they're gonna to continue to roll this out on every single type of campaign that you can run. Um, as far as I know, it's available pretty much across most campaigns. So if you don't see this here, then it's just not available yet for the campaign objective that you've chosen. Um, so then you would set up your audience. You can scroll down a little bit. You can edit your placements if you want to. You can set your budget and scheduling. So optimization for ad delivery would be conversions, cost control, lowest cost. Um, so you can schedule your campaign, set your conversion window. And next you would wanna click on continue. And this is when you can start setting up your advertisements. So now you can see ad name, default name is gonna be conversions. Um, and then you choose your Facebook page here. And then it's gonna say format, dynamic creative is enabled. Multiple ads will automatically be generated using your individual creative assets. So you can take the tour right here. So if I click on take tour, it's pretty quick. So it's just gonna say upload your assets, provide your individual creative assets like images and headlines. You should feel comfortable automatically mixing and matching all these assets together. Um, it's gonna say deliver multiple ad variations. And last but not least, learn what works for your audience. So close, so a very simple tour there. Now you can upload up to 10 images, videos, or slideshows. So I'm just gonna show images for right now. I just have five images I'm gonna upload. You might as well add all 10 images if you can. There's really no downside to adding 10 total images. Um, but what you really want is to make sure you're using images that are really visual and really are gonna paint the picture of what it is you're promoting. So I'm gonna upload my images right now. As you can see over image recommendations, the size recommendation is 1080 by 1080 with a crop one by one. 
file type .jpg or PNG, and as always, little or no overlaid text on your advertisement. So we'll click on upload images. I'm going to upload mine. Okay, so my images are uploaded here. I'll go through all of them just so you can see what they look like. Now you can also go to browse library and choose images that you've used in the past. The main thing is they're recommending one by one as far as the crop. So you wanna make sure you're selecting square images or images that are gonna be large enough that you can use a square for them. So this one right here is 1350 by 707. If I click on it, click on continue, it should be good enough to use, but what you're gonna to have to do is come over here and crop it and then make sure you just have the right square shown in the image here. So I could just do square one by one, click on apply changes. So now I have six total advertisements here. Even though it's 707 by 707, that's fine. It's still gonna run in Facebook ads just fine. Now I'll show you my other images real quick. So let's say I'm trying to sell a marketing course. So basically what I'm trying to sell is growth. I'm trying to show people that with this marketing course, you can basically earn more money for your business. So I'm trying to use very visual advertisements, something like this, click on apply changes. Um, over here, so growth. So obviously it's little or no overlay text. So if something like this is just fine, um, at the, the main thing that Facebook ads is trying to keep people from doing is having tons of text kind of written all over an image. But something like growth like this, it works well with the image and it will run well, well right in the Facebook ads newsfeed and all of their feeds. So we can click on apply changes here. Um, so you can see some of the other advertisements. So basically just a graph going up. Um, I've shown some of these other images in the past. So this just looks like kind of similar to a Google Analytics screen, just like some analytics data. And same with over here, it's showing some growth on the computer. So pretty simple. So now we have six images uploaded. So now what we can do is come down here to the bottom. And what we can do is first enter the website URL we want to promote. I generally start there. And what I like to do personally is build a URL parameter. So that allows me to track my campaigns into Google Analytics. So I can come here to website URL. We'll just say serviceidepc.com and let's just say Google Ads. So let's say I'm selling a marketing course for Google Ads. Whatever it is, it really doesn't matter. I'm not actually selling this. I'm just doing this for the sake of this tutorial. So campaign source, so it's gonna say to identify the source of traffic, so Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're kind of trying to drive traffic from. So for this, I would just use Facebook. Campaign medium, um, so medium is gonna be banner, email, Facebook feed, Instagram story. So I can just do image, banner, um, whatever you wanna use. So I'll just use banner since that's what they have here. Um, campaign name, so what you can do here is just select a dynamic parameter. So we'll just select campaign name here campaign content so you can use this to differentiate ads um, you can also use it to differentiate your ad sets so under campaign content maybe you just want to do ad set name so then it'll show some of the different ad sets and where you're driving traffic from so that's all you really need to do to set up a URL parameter and then you can track your campaigns into Google An Analytics and I'll show you that in a little bit so we can click on apply here so now we have our website URL set up this is gonna be the URL that we use for every single advertisement, so we don't need to set up different URLs for each ad. So now text, so just to show where some of this text shows up, so if we click on text under headline, I'll show where this shows up, just put in headline, so you'll see it over to the right-hand side here. Okay, so you can see right here, so our page, Surfside PPC, text is gonna show up above the image, right up at the top here, so anything you enter under text, and you have one out of five options here. And if we just scroll over, you can see each with a maximum of 1,024 characters. I generally keep it short and sweet. You don't need to put a ton of text here, but you can increase it if you really wanna show a lot of different things about what it is you're trying to promote. Headlines, so headline is gonna show right here. You generally want something very descriptive in the first few words for headlines. It does get cut off on some of the different news feeds, especially like the mobile news feed. Now we scroll down here, there's call to action. So you can see call to action right there display link so display link is going to show up right there and then newsfeed link description so your newsfeed link description is going to show up right at the bottom here where it says check out our google ads course so that's probably pulling in dynamically from our website so if we come to the top here with text let's start entering some text here you definitely want to use all five options when it comes to text and when it comes to headlines and when it comes to newsfeed link descriptions so we'll come to the top here you can see text so let's just do something like Okay, so for the first one, we'll just do the Surfside PPC marketing course will help you grow your business in 2019. So something pretty simple, um, we can click on add. You can try a bunch of different text options here. So what I would recommend doing is making sure you're using really unique text. So I wouldn't do something like, you know, grow your business with the Surfside PPC marketing course in 2019. It's so similar to that first one. 
So really what you want to do is make sure you're highlighting different things about your course. So maybe I say something like for $49. Okay, so I entered a couple more here. So now you can see the Surfside PPC marketing course will help you grow your business in 2019. So the second one for $49. So maybe you want to incorporate price here, purchase our marketing course and drive more relevant traffic to your business website. Number three, increase leads and drive sales using the top SEO and PPC strategies. So these are just some of the types of text options you wanna use. You really wanna highlight whatever it is you're trying to promote. So it really depends on what you're promoting. If you're promoting specific products, um, if you're just trying to send people to maybe an e-commerce website, you wanna make sure you're highlighting the benefits that people are gonna get if they click through to your advertisement. Uh, people are constantly scrolling through their Facebook news feed, so you really want text that's gonna stand out and get people to click on it. Um, so I could do something like grow your small business. Okay, so I've added a couple more here. So grow your small business in the next week with our small business marketing course. So create some urgency for people. Uh, maybe you're running a limited time promotion. You could put that here in the text. So anything at the top here, you want to make sure you're really highlighting maybe pricing, any promotion that you have, and some of the different benefits that people are going to get by purchasing your products and services or just signing up for your newsletter, whatever it is you're trying to promote. So last but not least, I did drive targeted traffic to your website with ease and increase your business revenue in 2019. So now I have five different text options up at the top here. And basically I'm just trying to promote this business marketing course for people. And when I'm targeting people, I can also make sure that I'm targeting audiences that are gonna be interested in the text that I'm putting up here, interested in my website URL and interested in my headline. So obviously I put Google ads here. I would probably do something like online marketing course if I was actually selling this. Um, I'm not selling anything at this time. So really just trying to create videos for people who are interested in learning more about marketing. Um, so for me, I could just do something like subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel, um, sus subscribe to my newsletter and get XYZ. So whatever it is, you really wanna promote that and show that in the text. Now you can use some longer form text here. I generally keep things pretty short. Um, but you can continue to add more characters and just see what people are going to you click on the most and what's going to help you drive the most conversions for your business. So now under headlines, you have one out of five options here it's showing. Um, so let's just do something like online marketing course. Grow your small business. Okay, so now I have five different headlines. So headlines I've done, online marketing course, grow your small business, top 2019 marketing strategies, small business marketing for beginners, and Surfside PPC marketing course. If you really just wanna focus on people learning more about your individual marketing course, you could just do a couple headlines here. So I could just do Surfside PPC marketing course, marketing course by Surfside PPC, um, you know, online marketing strategies by Surfside PPC. So you can try to use some of those different options there when you're creating a headline. I try to just promote whatever it is, my product or services that I'm trying to get people to learn about. I'll just create some different headlines that are gonna be similar to that. Things that are gonna encourage people to click through to my landing page. So increase leads and drive sales using the top SEO and PPC strategies. So small business marketing for beginners and you would have learn more here. So you definitely wanna choose a call to action that's gonna be the best for whatever it is you're promoting. Um, so for this, for example, I would do either sign up or shop now. So if I click on sign up, you could just see right here. So we'll look at it. So you can see top 2019 marketing strategies, sign up. So then when people get to the page, you want to make sure it's really geared towards them signing up for your marketing course. Otherwise, what you can do is if you're just selling a one marketing course, maybe it's a video series or something like that, you can do watch more, you can do shop now, whichever is going to be the best call to action for you is the one you want to make sure you're using. Um, you can also just use learn more. Um, so that's obviously a popular one. But I would, if I'm trying to sell something, I generally try to use the word shop here so people have an understanding that they're going to have to spend some money in order to get access to my online marketing course. So either sign up or shop now would probably work best for this type of campaign. So we'll keep scrolling down here a little bit. And the last but not least is newsfeed link descriptions. So you get zero out of five options. Now, one thing I don't think I went through is how many characters you get for headlines. So you get 255 characters. So you can create some pretty long headlines, but they're gonna end up being cut off in some of the different uh, types of ad placements available through Facebook ads, through Instagram ads. So I generally keep this shorter as well. Um, using a ton of text in my experience doesn't always work that well. It can work at the top here. 
Um, so if you kind of describe maybe a lot of different things that are going to be beneficial to people, if they do use your products and services, you can create some longer or text at the top here. Um, you can create some longer newsfeed link descriptions at the bottom here. Um, but I generally keep things pretty short, as I've said just recently. Um, so display link. So I will use display link sometimes. So if I do Surfside PPC dot com and right now I have Google ads so you could do something like that so then people know if they just go directly to that URL they're gonna see it uh, maybe I can do surfside ppc.com slash marketing and make sure that this page is either redirecting directly to my page or that it's being sent to a page that's gonna promote this product as well um, you never know people might type in some of these different display URLs here so you want to make sure you're using something that's gonna be useful and relevant to whatever it is you're promoting so now we have newsfeed link descriptions here. So we have five options. So I can enter some newsfeed link descriptions here. So again, you just wanna make sure you're really highlighting whatever it is you're promoting. So Okay, so I've added some newsfeed link descriptions. As you can see in some of the ad placements, it's gonna end up being cut off here. So you can see, I just put our online marketing course will help you grow your small business. The Surfside PPC online marketing course is geared towards beginners who wanna grow their website traffic. So some different newsfeed link descriptions. And the way Dynamic Creative is gonna work is Facebook is gonna come in, they're gonna select one of your text options up at the top here. You keep scrolling down, they're gonna use your website URL. They're gonna select one of your headlines here. They're gonna use your call to action and they're gonna select one of your newsfeed link descriptions. And then if we scroll all the way to the top, they're gonna to select one of the images or videos that you've uploaded. So Dynamic Creative is gonna to continue to test all of these different options. And as they figure out what's gonna drive the best results for your business, you can continue to serve those advertisements and you don't really have to do anything. You're basically giving the tools to Facebook to test all of your advertisements. Now, Facebook says this doesn't replace the split tests that you can run with their campaigns, but I think in terms of creating advertisements, if you upload a dynamic creative ad just like this one, and maybe you wanna create another one as well, so you can add more images, you can add more text, you can add more headlines, you can add more newsfeed link descriptions, and if you continue to kind of test all of these things, I think it is a great way to split test your advertisements. Now you can upload multiple advertisements and split test them as well. But as you continue to serve these ads, you can learn what's gonna work the best for your business. So now all we need to do is we come down here and we can click on confirm. Okay, and then as you can see here, we have our campaign. So if we click on the campaign, you can see the ad set that we just created. If we click on the ad set, you can see we have this dynamic ad created. If we click on edit, you can see right here, we scroll to the bottom. So we have all these different advertisements here. We have all the different text here. We have different website URL. We have different headlines running. Um, so that's pretty much how you set up Dynamic Creative. It's pretty easy to set up. Just make sure you select it as you're going through your ad set. And then as you create your campaign, you can upload multiple images and create Dynamic Creative. So now you might be interested in how to know how some of your different Dynamic Creative actually performed. So what you can do is go into your campaign click on your ad set and when you go into your ads, so this is a dynamic ad right here, you can see it's just gonna say business interest ad one, even though it's creating multiple advertisements. Um, so what you wanna do is under columns, go to performance and then under breakdown, you wanna do by dynamic creative asset. So you can do combination, you could do image, video and slideshow. So if we come to image, video and slideshow, it's gonna show the different images that we used and then it's gonna show the results for each individual image. So you can see which images actually perform the best for you. Um, you can break down by text so you can see which text performs the best for you. Um, so if we see right here, results, this one drove the most conversions at the lowest cost. So you can see, get our free video and ebook when you sign up for our newsletter. So just some different ways to kind of break down your dynamic creative and see what works best for you. And all you need to do is click on your campaign, click on your ad set as you start getting some results and you can see what works best. So then you can use that in some of your follow-up campaigns and continue to improve performance. So. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PBC YouTube channel.